Coming up on Around Kern County, we're following the largest fire in Kern County's history. We're sharing everything you need to know about the Burrell Fire and available resources when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's special episode of Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Triolo. Today we bring you special coverage of the Burrell Fire, the largest in Kern County's history. Burning nearly 60,000 acres near the Kern River Valley, there are more than a thousand boots on the ground right now working to contain the flames. We want to begin today's show by bringing you the latest information from our Kern County Fire Department, whose commitment, leadership, and strategic response is part of the effort to combat this emergency. Those extreme fire winds pushed that fire eastward through many of the communities here in Kern County. Well, we want our residents to know that we feel for them. Whether they're displaced, whether it's just over the hillside and it's giving them anxiety, we are concerned for their well-being, emotionally and mentally. We're also out there working to provide for their physical safety. We want everyone to be safe. We don't want anyone to be injured. We don't want anyone to lose a life here. And so we are doing everything in our power. We have over a thousand firefighters that are here. We have firefighters from all over the state that are here helping us fight this fire. There's no strategy, there's no tactic that we're just ignoring. We're exploring everything that we can on this fire to make sure that it stays out of the Kern River Valley, that we can do all that we can to keep this out of homes and away from structures. We don't want to see any loss of this because of this fire. Every single firefighter on this fire is doing everything they can. And that's why this fire is already over 30% contained. So already we're seeing the containment come up quickly. We've already been able to reopen 178. The efforts that are ongoing right now are substantial. We want everyone that's directly affected by this fire within its perimeter to be able to return to their lives as quickly as possible. The Burrell Fire started on Wednesday, July 24th, off of Highway 178 near Democrat Road. And as firefighters work to contain the flames, our hearts are with all of those impacted by this devastating disaster. Right now, there are many resources in place to support evacuees, their animals, and simply anyone who is being impacted by this tragedy. Evacuation centers are set up at the Tehachapi Education Center as well as Burroughs High School. Both locations are staffed with animal services workers and volunteers ready to assist with the care of evacuated small pets. If you're looking for the latest information about the Burrell Fire, as well as available resources, please call our non-emergency line at 661-873-2660, which is staffed seven days a week between the hours of 9 a.m. and 7 p.m. You can find more information about all available resources and how you can help on our website, kerncounty.com. And from the outstanding leadership of our local departments to the support our county is receiving statewide and from Washington, combating the Burrell Fire and its impacts is all hands on deck as our elected officials are working together to wrap as many services as possible around our community. Working with uh, our fire department uh, collaboratively with the U.S. Forest Service, the Bureau of Land Management, working with FEMA, uh, California Office of Emergency Services, uh, they all rapidly responded, certainly getting the roads open, uh, getting our, the animals to shelters. But over the weekend, we got a federal assistance grant that would help with the reimbursement and then of course the, the state declared a state of emergency as well. So we're all working together. This is a coordinated effort. We're gonna walk alongside everyone in our community. So the Kern River Valley is a very special place. The people are so generous. And so with the Red Cross, with the county offices, with my office as well, certainly if there's any challenge, if there's any issue with either the state or the federal government, please reach out. 661-327-3611 is my number. You can reach out to us on social media as well. But I, I can't thank the, the county enough and all the first responders and the firefighters that have done so much. Uh, the credit goes to them. and to the Red Cross as well. The county is still really working hard. Uh, a lot of departments have all come together to make sure that we have all the resources that we need up there. We're not out of the woods yet though. Uh, the fire is still burning. So I just encourage that everybody has signed up for ready current alerts that 
uh, if an evacuation warning or order is issued, you know, be prepared. And when that order comes through, please leave the area just for your safety, for our first responders' safety. I just appreciate uh, the community support. Uh, Ridgecrest has been a great partner in this to Hatchby. Uh, we've had partner agencies from all over the state. And uh, I really appreciate everybody pulling together and just encourage the community to hang in there. Also this week, Governor Gavin Newsom visited Kern County to survey the damage after proclaiming a state of emergency, as our first responders and support staff work to gather resources to aid in recovery efforts. And it's not just people impacted by the devastating effects of the Burrell fire, but also animals. Many pets have been evacuated and or rescued thanks to the tremendous efforts of our Kern County Animal Services Department. If you're under evacuation and have animals in immediate jeopardy, or have animals left behind that may need care, you can call Animal Services at 661-868-7100. This line is open 24-7 with field units on standby to respond to calls for help in affected areas. We have about 40 uh, personnel involved in the response right now, um, and we have about 12 to 15 volunteers as well. Um, we have a wonderful partner by the name of the Central California Animal Disaster Team, the CCAT as they're called, um, and they're fully manning the Tehachapi Evacuation uh, Shelter for Pets. Um, and then the Ridgecrest site is staffed by county staff. Um, and then our officers are responding to calls daily, uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Our dispatchers are answering calls um, and our administrative staff is getting supplies out to them. So the, the response from animal services is really commensurate with the emergency that we're seeing. We know that in times of disaster like this, when folks are asked to evacuate or told to evacuate, that one of the biggest reasons they will not put themselves in danger is their pets. And so we just wanna make sure that we get the message out there that uh, if you're living in an evacuation area and you're asked or, or told to evacuate, there are resources for you to take your animals with you, large and small. To view all evacuation locations for large animals, check out Animal Services' website for missing pets, or view other important information. Again, please visit our website, kerncounty.com, or Animal Services' website at kerncountyanimalservices.org. As you've been hearing about how our many Kern County departments are pulling together during this time, we also want to bring you a heartwarming story about the compassion of our Kern County firefighters working to save animals caught in the flames. Crews on duty near Breckenridge Station noticed this little guy running on the road to try to get away from the fire. Once they caught him, they noticed his paws were badly burned. Since they had to stay on scene and fight the flames for the next few hours, they loaded this sweet pup into their fire truck where he rested until they were able to deliver him to animal services. Well, here's a look at him today, bandaged up and walking again. Right now, we are trying to reunite this loving dog who we've affectionately named Walker with his owner. But the good news is that if that doesn't happen, the Kern County firefighter who rescued him has offered to take Walker home. And as smoke fills the air across Kern County, Anna Marie Odo is catching up with Kern County Public Health on how we can all stay safe. As Kern County's largest wildfire continues to burn, it's important to protect yourself from wildfire smoke. We're joined now by Public Information Officer Michelle Corson with some safety tips. Smoke exposure does have health impacts that can be really severe, especially for vulnerable populations like the elderly, the young, those with um, heart or lung conditions and asthma. Avoid being outdoors, it's really that simple. You really should be indoors as much as possible. N95 masks are an option for people if they have to be outdoors. Avoid exerting yourself and when you're breathing outside, so don't be exercising, don't be mowing the lawn, don't be doing extra activities outdoors if, if smoke is present because that's really gonna increase you breathing in um, this smoke that can be dangerous. For more information on the dangers of wildfire smoke and how to stay safe, please visit kernpublichealth.com. Before we go, we wanna remind you to stay up to date on all things related to the Burrell Fire by signing up for Ready Kern on kerncountyfire.org, as well as downloading the Genesis Protect app in the App Store or Google Play. 
This will help you know your zone when you put in your address and turn on evacuation notifications. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. As a reminder, you can access the latest information and available Burrell Fire resources in both English and Spanish by visiting our website, kerncounty.com. You can also stay up to date by following us on social media or downloading the MyKern app. We'll see you right back here next time.